everyone to the Team League Brussels coverage and I'm here with Mr. Sackboy Edwin. He's been in like every, hold on, you're really dark. There we go, that's better. And then we have the Mr. Dawe. We have the Nelson, the Salty Lingling. We have the Sackboy Lubo and Vincent and the, this guy. So, and uh, basically there's already a hiccup with the event because they, um, they only reserved like places for 27 teams. So that's like, what, 70 or 81 people? 81, yeah. So they only had places for 81 people and at first they were like, we're not going to accept anymore after 27, but now they said that like, you're going to basically, as soon as one team is done, another one goes in the spot of them. So we're going to have extended rounds, it's going to take like the whole day. So it's going to be pretty fun. So how was your journey to get here? Journey to get here, no sleep again, like almost yes. two hours max. Yes. And uh, the journey we got lost somewhere in uh, at some farms and shit. So, nice, uh, very good. Fuck, uh, like yeah. Fuck you, it's not well, it'll be finished by 9. Because usually it's finished at 6, but I guess it'll be finished at like 8 or something. And how was your journey to get here? Yeah, well, it was pretty nice. I met some people, I asked them how to be there. And yeah, it's pretty A fun. tourist life. Yeah, this guy came with me, fucking bitch. I'm so tired. I have one hour sleep. Good. Very good. Yeah, I, I don't know, I fucking... I, I slept like 5 hours or something. It was okay. But yeah, so I don't know when round 1's gonna start because we're still doing sign-ups and it's really chaotic and shit and here's one last guy, it's the Ramon! Yo, what's up dudes? How was your, <laughs> yeah, let me switch, how was your journey to get here? Uh, it was quite easy. We only traveled for one hour. I picked the tram road for a shortcut. Yeah. But everything went smoothly. Team United of course stayed at my place, mm -hmm. my team stayed at my place. And, and you didn't sleep one much. Hour. Yeah. Uh, four hours. No, it's good enough. It's good enough for today. Yeah, alright. So, I'll see you guys at round one. Because like as soon as the first group of round one finishes, they're doing the second group of round one, and it's 
double elimination, so we will be losing like half the people on round two. So, yeah. <laughs> first so um, Chinese carry <laughs> yeah, the, the Chinese voice carry me last game I fought against touch Cassie yeah, yeah. touch Cassie and he got like two times double crit first time I took it and second time I didn't let him pass and also I was locking his whole field so he can't do the retire skill so then win a match yeah. yeah and your game I uh, played against Messiah again hey. uh, that was great stuff for two turns I still came back no, it's easy. But I, did, I didn't sack this round. But yeah, this time he, he didn't. He uh, didn't have he didn't have enough shield. Uh, he had only uh, great threes in his hand. Yeah. So, uh, came back. Yeah, for me it was like it was all, it started off pretty nice, but um, I checked the crit when he was a three, so I gave him five, and then he did the because I was against nightmare dolls, so he did the fucking nightmare goal combo to death. I survived that because I checked the stand and I did one grade one no steal with the broken heart in the field. And then after that, um, so I survived that, and then he healed. The next turn he heals again, so he has two open counter blasts, and then next turn he does no seal combo again, I mean the Nightmare Dog combo again, and I died, so I couldn't keep up with that. But my, my Chinese teammates won, so it's all good. So we got our first loss as a team. So we got our first loss as a team. Um, Mr. Dawei is going 3 0. So. <laughs> yeah, I won last game again, Scare Chronic. Yeah. I survived almost two times the next stage, and yeah, I even tried to extend us. Excellent, yeah. Excellent, yeah. I won yeah. Your game? I lost again, so. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, great nature. <laughs> it's too much power for me. Yeah, I too much. My head was shit, and I couldn't go. I was up against seven C's and it was very, very equal. The player was super good. And uh, <laughs> um, the thing is that we went to third turn of time, so last one. I had four damage, he had five, and it was his last turn of time. So he like he went he did a break stride on time. And then after all that, uh, he gets a heal and a stand. So then he's at four, I went to five because I started it, and then he won. So I'm going actually one, two, that's a pretty sad score, but we're still in this, we just have to win the next two. So see you at the next round. So I am here with Sasha who anybody that's gone to a big Vanguard tournament in Europe will recognize. Really, 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 really big. I have yeah. to say for our first tournament in Belgium it was so much of players. We had like 
45 teams yeah. for like the first Belgium tournament and I was judging it myself which was a bit of a mess but yeah. uh, we figured it out so it was really yeah. good. Yeah, in the end it was actually quite alright. It, yeah, it wasn't it was as chaotic as, as it could have been. Yeah. 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 No, um, the store is really quite nice I have to say. It's a bit small but it's quite good and they have food and drinks here which is nice for players if they want to have like a small powers or something. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to say I know half of the players who are playing here and they're really nice to deal with because they, they are so kind to each other, they talk to each other, they know me as well, so it's really, really awesome to yeah. get here and we see friendly faces, so it's, it's always yeah. a good thing. Alright, so how did you, like what, because usually we don't ever have events in Belgium, so yes. what was the decision that got it into Belgium? Um, we talked about, um, let's say we talked about with the staff about the uh, tournaments doing in Belgium because we have a lot of players from the Netherlands and also from Belgium and France coming over. Yeah. And Telling us like, yeah, and telling us like, why don't we have something in our countries? Because mm -hmm. there always is something in France or in Germany, which is always big and like very supported. Why not yeah. in Belgium or like in the Netherlands? So we said we can try and see if Belgium works fine for us, mm -hmm. and it worked well. As we can see for our first tournament, it's really really well. Like a lot of players who came, yeah. because I can tell if you have this much players already, which is over 100 players, I assume they will also come for a singles elimination match. Also. Yeah, of course. And and so I have to say this was kind of a test run to see if it works because the staff of Opus was so kind and tell like yeah you can do a tournament here we will love to because they already did some team leagues in the past yeah. and um, that's why we tried it and said like okay let's try it and see how it works because we have a lot of Belgian players who want to have tournaments mm -hmm. and the other part is there's not so much like stores in Belgium that supports the game so there's now one <laughs> in the center of Belgium, so this is good. And um, Brussels is uh, a good, let's say, a good city to come to because every train drives through here. There's yeah. planes coming in here, so it's quite easy to get here. As well. yeah. And we had a turnout of like Belgian players, German players, French players, uh, Netherlands players. Yeah. So everybody has came, so this is really, really well. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, thank and I wish you much. good luck in future Bush Road events you. as well. Thank you. We will see. Um, next tournament will be in Paris, and then we will have some in UK, so looking forward to that. UK is always big, it's like 300 people or yeah, something. Yeah, that's by <laughs> but, far the hugest uh, next of Next one Europe. to come is Paris then, so maybe we see each other there. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So this is kind of post everything talk with the, the boys. We, it's already the day after actually, but we didn't talk about our last round. We got eliminated in round four, and basically, uh, you got you. that was the only game you actually lost. Yeah, yeah, the third round was quite intense game, and the last round was... I was against another girl, Chronicle, and um, he has a really good hand, and I have a really shitty hand, and then mm -hmm. I lost. I couldn't, I couldn't stride and do any shit, so yeah. I lost. Basically. That way was our main carry, but when when you brick, you brick, and then you played against the biggest counter to seven C's. The Narukami, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Narukami. He basically binds all my key cards that I need for that I need for um, the hollow yeah. coming back. He he knew he knew the uh, Grand Blue deck perfectly. Uh -huh. Like he knew the uh, all the combos. He knew what he had to bind, and he he told me that he was also a Grand Blue player, so he knew what yeah. he was doing. Yeah, that makes sense. He was he had those he had the um, like the perfect field to pressure me. He had two of those um, AKs that when you hit, you bind the card. Yeah. Like when I when I broke one, the other passes, and yeah. and even his Vanguard when he hits. Uh, the strides. Um, yeah, Zorus. I think it's Zorus, yeah. When he hits, yeah. like the whole front row was just pressing mm -hmm. my bind zone. Yeah, so that's like the worst thing that you could fight against as Grand Blue. And I played against Chaos, it was I think my first Chaos of the day, but we were fighting and I think it would have won. But because they had already uh, lost, they their teammates went to report that they have won already. And then my opponent got called to play the next round in the middle of our game, so we couldn't finish it. So, but I think I, I had it because he was always, he was. He will. He even he at, at at the end of the game he said that I probably would have had it. So, like I I guess that would have been a victory for me. But I, overall it went two two, so we weren't that happy. And there was only five rounds of Swiss, so then we had to sit out the next round. And we were rooting for Edwin's team, who ended up losing in fifth round as well, so they didn't make it to top eight. But then if you remember Andy, uh, he was in the he won his team won in 2013 I believe, and then 2012 he was the French national champion. But his team went second, and their lineup was uh, Sanctuary Blaster, and they had uh, No Seal, like pure No Seal, and Tachikaze, Guy Emperor. That was a really surprising turnout. And then the winners, which we'll see deck profiles of pretty soon, were 
Uh, what were they? They were Time Leap, and then there was Sting Blaster, and No Seal with Gavril. Yeah, those were, those were the three. So they won the whole thing. There were this German group that I didn't know about them beforehand, but I guess I got to know them. But yeah, I don't know. What did you guys think about the whole event itself, like yesterday? Um, yeah, even though this. This, they have limited spaces like yeah. this. It wasn't like a big uh, car shop, but it was yeah. quite nice there. The shopkeeper was nice. Also, the people I met there was quite nice. Like we just chatted around with mm -hmm. others and things. Yeah, the tournaments goes quite fun. Mm -hmm. Some games went quite intense, and yeah, I feel yeah. really good. So. Yeah, how was it for you and overall? Um, we started pretty good for me, and then just went downhill. Yeah. Because yeah, I just got the uh, counter after counter, also opponents that counter me. Yeah. Oh all the um, uh, yeah, like that we said, space pretty small. Yeah. Wish it was a bit bigger mm -hmm. and more fresh air because it. <laughs> yeah, it got stuffy as well. Yeah. Too, yeah. too many people and it smells really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the inside the room. Um, uh -huh. side, yeah. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. I don't know, for me, like, yeah, as well, like, we started off pretty good. The matches that I lost were, like, they were really close losses. And, like, I think all the games we played were really good. Like, I didn't have any games where I bricked or I got gray stuck for five days. You know, it was all pretty all right. Organization, organization wise, at the, at the start, it was pretty chaotic. But then, it, like, after two rounds, it was all right. I think they calmed down. They kind of made everyone settle and it was alright in the end so I, I, I wouldn't really complain about the the only thing I'll complain about is that it was just too small so hopefully next time and if they do it in Brussels they would just you know get a bigger place so Antwerp yeah Antwerp is actually a really good place for for any Vanguard event because like the car shop there is huge so but generally upstairs and downstairs yeah exactly so I think overall it was it was alright so we didn't do too well but we're happy for the teams that won and we won't be going to any other uh, team Marchland. Yeah, <laughs> well, we won't be going to any other team leagues this this year, but it was it was nice to at least go to this one. So, yeah, big thanks to Bushwood for organizing it and getting it to Brussels again. It's been like three years since the last time we had a uh, Vanguard event in Brussels, so it was pretty nice. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>